Here's a spot diagnosis for your medical exams. What does this patient have? Oh, this one's congenital syphilis. Yep, this comes up in exams a lot. So go on then, tell me the classic features of congenital syphilis. No idea. There's a nursery rhyme which will help you to never forget it. By the way, I've released a brand new guide, Never Forget Clinical Exams. Master your OSCEs and vivas. Comment OSCE for some free pages. Congenital syphilis is caused by a bacteria called Treponema pallidum. If a female is harboring syphilis during pregnancy, then it can pass on to the baby. One of the signs of congenital syphilis is this, also known as Hutchinson teeth. They're generally smaller and wider than normal teeth, with this notch in the middle, which sort of looks like a tooth which has been flipped upside down. Now, you're never going to forget the signs of congenital syphilis, just by remembering the nursery rhyme, heads, shoulders, knees, and toes. But it's the next part which helps you out. The eyes and ears and mouth and nose. The eyes refers to interstitial keratitis. The ears, it can affect the eighth cranial nerve causing deafness. Mouth, which is where the Hutchinson's teeth come in. And lastly, nose, as some kids can also develop a saddle nose deformity. And now you'll never forget it. I've got another patient for you, but you're going to have to follow me to come and see them next.